It always feels like there's just this, I just need to make this giant checklist of shit that I have to update for this thing. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, alright, I gotta get the title updated, I gotta get the category updated, alright. Alright, I gotta pull up the rules, I gotta pull up the manual, I gotta pull up the wheel picker, okay. Alright, what else am I forgetting? Oh, I forgot to, forgot to change the background. <laughs> you know? It's just like, just like every time I sit down and I'm like, oh, I got it all ready and we're set to go. Uh, nope, I'm not set to go. Never right. Anyway, um, I kind of figured we'd just do a real base thing here. Um, rules. I pulled up the manual for the PlayStation version since it's going to have some relevant information. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I also pulled up MAME so I can show people how to adjust their inputs. Yeah, that's good because I'm not working with MAME. I'm, I'm not doing this one. I, I despise MAME. It is. I was telling a uh, 16-bit earlier today because he was having trouble getting it set up too. It's like, it's like an old, it's just an old beat-up truck. You know, it takes a lot of work to get running, and when it finally does, it's a dream. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of people don't like to put a lot of time and effort into an old truck. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why they usually go out and buy brand new hotness. <laughs> yep. But that's just kind of how that goes. It is a good it is a good program, but again, it just takes a lot of configuring. Yeah, and frankly, I I have tried working with MAME in the past, got it working once and then it broke and I'm just like, fuck this, never again. Yeah. So and anytime it shows up on the wheel, it's like, no, I got better things to do than to not fuck fuck my <laughs> life up with a uh, MAME. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fucking I... waste my time. I put in Outrun for next year as a nomination, and I actually found someone had um, someone had configured an emulator specifically for Outrun, and I was like, "Yes, this is amazing." <laughs> there you go. Because I could not get it to run properly on Mame. I just could not get yeah. the I could not get the acceleration to work right. Sounds like Mame. Yep. Yeah, it's it's tough. Stormy, what's up? How you doing? <sighs> doing all right. She's gearing up for that last Pokemon run. She can do it too. Yeah, she can do it. <laughs> I think she just called us boring. Rude. Ah, the other live stream. I would throw up quotation marks with my hands, but they are right now under blankets under by my sides because I'm freezing. Kyla, when you uh when you streamed Pokemon, did you did you get like a ton of followers? No, you did though. Yeah, dude, I got like six. Like, I am assuming most of those are bots, but, like, none of them... I think only one actually came in and tried to advertise. <laughs> Possible bots, uh, possibly just because you stream so late, it was people waking up in uh, Europe. That could be. Yeah, that's true. None of, them, none of them chatted or did anything, so I was like, all right, sit here and hang out. They did out. not, no. Hello, Az. Welcome in. Hey, AB. seen you in uh, several Kylo streams. Yeah, baby. Love Metal Slug. I love this game. I've never played it. Really? Oh my goodness. Yep. This is a classic. Not, never played it. Not even fully sure what it is. Well, we'll get into that. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have an idea of what it is. Uh, Stormy, have you ever set up MAME? I 
I, I feel like we had it for at least one game last year, last season. Okay. So we I'm did, a... and I didn't, I didn't bother with it then either. Yeah. I was hoping it was something I'd have to do. Yeah, it's, it takes a little, a little work, but, I mean, it just let me know and I can help you out. I have a noisy kitty. Holy cow! Dang, yeah. She wants under the blanket. There. Who does not? Get under the blanket with the other cat. Oh, no. She just wants attention. Excuse me. I was wrong. Alright. Well, we're about six minutes in. I think everybody's joined up so far. So... Uh, excuse me. Uh. Yeah. I, I wouldn't blame you, Stormy. Like... I was telling Kylo and actually 16-bit earlier, um, MAME run, MAME works like an old pickup and that it takes a lot of work to get up and running, but when it does run, it just runs like a dream. And Kylo, Kylo mentioned, you know, a lot of people don't want to do, put that kind of work into a truck. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I agree, Stormy. I'm, I am skipping this round because I too do not want to fuck with MAME. I've done it in the past. I have no desire to do so again. Stream quality dropped there for just a brief minute, but we're good. We're back to good. But yeah, if you if you need help, oh god damn it, quit doing that. <laughs> uh, Me? No, I'm watching my bit rate dip down to like 3k for a half second and then come back up. I'm gonna blame the weather. Ah, I see. But yeah, if you need help, just reach out and I can I can help you set it up because it is it is a it is a process, and I'm sure Quantum would be happy to help out too. So, anywho, uh, this week's uh, game, week 13, we are looking at Metal Slug X. This is through the Mame Arcade Emulator. Um, it is a run and gun game, so it's a lot of hectic action. You're shooting everything that moves. You're picking up power-ups and trying not to get hit yourself. Um, the rule set for this week is that we're only allowed four credits. So you're only allowed to input four tokens per run. And once you've run out of credits and run out of lives, then you have to start over. Um, you can change characters. And I believe the, the idea behind this is that Quantum wanted you to play each character once. Um, the characters are have no differences between them other than just how they look but the idea of you know one character gets captured so you put in a token and you play the next character type of thing um <laughs> tiebreaker <laughs> tiebreakers are highest stage reached over time um there are six levels to get through the first level is usually a pretty it is a gimme um, it's got that arcade difficulty where the first level's easy to trick you into thinking you're good at the game and enti entice you to put in more quarters later on when you get to, like, stage three and everything's exploding and there's bullets everywhere. Ah, yes. So. Um, since it's arcade, we don't have an actual manual, but I did pull up the manual for the PlayStation version as there are some... Uh, a little tidbits of information that'll be handy here. Obviously not. Why couldn't that. we just play the PlayStation version? You will have to ask Quantum Player One. Because he wants the authentic experience, I guess. Um, Gotta make things exceedingly difficult. Yeah, he does. Uh, so you'll have... Ignore this, but you'll have three buttons. You'll have a jump button, a shoot button, and a grenade button. As well as the joystick. Um, so here's your, here's a good example of the display that you'll see. You'll have your stage timer here. You'll have your number of bombs here. If you just have the pistol, you don't run out of ammo. But when you pick up power-ups, there will be a limited number of ammo. Um, here's your score. Here's how many players you have left. And on the arcade version down here, it'll say how many credits have been entered. Now, I don't know... I. I don't think you actually get extra lives based on score, but I could be wrong about that. 
Um, here's the important stuff here. Here's your power-ups. So you have the heavy machine gun, you have your rocket launcher, flame shot, laser shot, and shotgun. And if you have the letter here where it's looking like it's bursting out of the box, then you get the upgraded version of it. Which is just bigger and better. Furthermore, you have the drop shot. Um, it's, a, it's like an orb that bounces around. Iron lizard. It falls to the ground and then skates along the ground. Think bomb chew. Um, super grenade. I actually don't remember what that one is. And then enemy chaser, which are like little rockets that home in on enemies. Um, you can pick up incendiary grenades, armor piercing ammunition. The bullets will repl replenish any special weapon ammo you have. And bombs will give you more grenades to throw. And if you have a vehicle over here on the right page, fuel will give you extra health on the vehicle. Um, these guys here, if you see a dude that looks like this, whether he's firing a Hadouken or not, um, just run up and you will first, they're usually in ropes. So go up and hit him with the knife. Um, you'll automatically use the knife if you try to shoot close range. Um, use the knife to free him. Then as soon as you touch him, he'll say thank you and then he'll drop something. Um, that's usually a power up, but sometimes it's just points. And then this lady here, if you, if you shoot her in the backpack from behind, her backpack will start leaking food and you can pick the food up. <laughs> um, on the right here, you have four of the vehicles. You have the titular metal slug here, which is a tank that can shoot in all directions. And when you press the grenade button, it fires the big cannon. Um, you have the slugnoid here, which walks Noid. side. Okay. <laughs> it walks side Sorry, to side. I, it's on my so uh, because I have giant monitors, but also a, a ginormous resolution. Everything appears tiny, oh. and for whatever reason, I thought that said, it said like uh, I don't even know. I just said slug, and then nothing. Like I was like, what does that say? Avoid the noid. <laughs> um, but actually don't avoid the Noid because Slug Noid's amazing um, it walks like a crab, walks sideways and then it has the two guns on each side which can shoot in any direction and then um, it's got a little dick cannon right here that will shoot straight down yeah it's it's just a, it's a dick cannon, it's just a little dick, it bounces up and down and then when you push the grenade button it fires a little missile that goes straight down um Slug Flyer is a Harrier jet. It'll shoot. Um, oh, that makes yeah. sense. It'll shoot. I, uh, I said Slug Fever. <laughs> <laughs> I got Slug Fever. And the only I got Slug Fever. <laughs> the only prescription is more credits. Um, so it's a Harrier jet. It can move in any direction, um, but it's only going to shoot to the right. Um, and then it has a when you push grenade, it shoots a missile. Um, then you have slug. you have the Camel Slug. It is just. It, oh, that is what that says. It's okay, a, it's a camel. It is a camel with huh. two with two turrets on it. Turrets can oh, shoot. Oh, that is totally a camel on the left. I yeah, wasn't looking at that. Yeah, um, the turrets can shoot in any direction, and I think the grenade button makes him spit. But I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. And then that is pretty much it. If if I remember right... Oh, here you go. You can press down and jump to get out of a vehicle if you're already in it. If you want to get into one, just go up to it and push jump. And that is really all of the pertinent information that's going to be in this book. Because it's all about stuff like how to save to your memory card. And here's your characters, by the way. They don't look anything like this in the game. The one on the left looks like it's from a different fighting game. Right? Yeah, he looks like Terry Bogard from King of Fighters. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. It's, it's basically, for most levels, it's moved to the right. Four credits that include the first go around. Can you insert four additional quarters? Uh, that does include the first. So um, once you've started the game, you will have three additional credits. Uh, 
but yeah, that is really pretty much all there is that's pertinent to this. It is kind of a fast-paced, really silly game. Um, I absolutely love like the art direction and everything they go with this because it's just, it's just there's a, a real special charm to it. But it does get hard as balls too. <laughs> I know Big Captain has already started playing. He's made it through, I want to say, three levels with four and a half hours left. Yeah, he was he was pretty excited about how well he was doing, and I was like, dude, that's great. He's already hit stage four. Um, Quantum is actually wrapping his thing up, and he's reached the final stage, but he has not beaten it, and I don't think it's looking like he's going to. Mm. And Tater's also doing his run right now, but I wasn't sure how far he got. Um, anyway. It looks like Tater stopped. Oh, he might have. That's too bad. I was going to raid him. <laughs> um, so I pulled up MAME uh, just to kind of go through it real quick. And we can kind of show how to adjust inputs because that's what's going to be the most important. Um, so once, you, once you've downloaded the files that you need, first off, you have to download MAME, obviously then you need to download the Neo Geo BIOS, which Quantum has provided in the Discord. You will put that into the ROMs folder. And then after that, you need the Metal Slug ROM, which you will need to find. Um, and anyone can help you, just reach out. Then you'll go into here, you'll find Metal Slug X, and you'll push Enter. Pretty sure that that's also in the Discord. It might be, yeah. Actually, I think it was just linked today, so yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, per the instructions on Discord that Quantum provided, you want Universe BIOS Hack 3.3. That will bring this up. And it'll say press any key to continue. You can do that. And now what, the default on MAME is you'll push TAT. Pause. That is very loud. Um, you'll push TAB to bring up the option menu here. And you want to go to input settings. You can go input settings this system. I'm pushing enter to get through this. And here's where you can adjust your controls. So you'll see here I have up is either the D-pad up or joy pad up and you can just push enter and then push a button on your controller to assign that. Um, a is going to be, this is your fire button this is your jump button and this is your grenade button so um, it says x a b that is based off of the xbox controller positions so i have the jump on the bottom button the grenade on the right button and the fire on the left button um, the other thing you'll want to make sure that you configure is you want coin one so that you can insert a coin and then you want one player start. So I put coin on select, I put start on start. And then, yeah, and that's really all that's necessary. Um, there's a lot of options here just because the Neo Geo arcades have a thousand different games that you could put in. Um, I mean, obviously you've got your P2 options here, which you don't need to configure. You don't need to worry about those. Um, but let's see if we go to previous menu. Um, Neo Geo arcades were also set up to handle like gambling games and like poker games. So they'd have buttons for uh, increase bet or stand or hit, you know. But thankfully you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, um, we can tab out. You can also do input general for user interface. So this is your this is your system commands. And yeah, there's a lot of shit here. But for the most part, soft reset's a good one to have assigned to a button. So that you could if you're like, well this is a shit this is a bust run, I'm gonna just start over. There you go, you can soft reset the game. Um a lot of these are cheats, so you don't want to bother with them. Safe state, low state, yeah, we don't need any of that. So yeah, just soft reset really is probably the only good one to deal with. 
But yeah. Thought I'd give a little how-to on that. And again, if you're having issues, reach out. Any one of us will be happy to help you, except except for Kylo. He will not be happy to help you. I was just going to say, if you're having any issues, just throw it away. There's no good to come from Mame. Yeah. He says, he says do, not, do not bother with Mame. He says, take a week off. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so we'll turn off that, and we'll turn... All right, so we're on to the wheel picker. All righty then. Whoops. F11, full screen. There we go. All right, so four, metal slug, starting at position number 10. Number 10. If I make this, I'm going, like, if I'm anywhere on this top 10, I am going to just laugh since I'm not playing this game. Mr. Rocket. I don't it's Mr. Rocket. <laughs> you put the balls in his mouth. I'm not finishing that song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Number nine. Mm. <clears throat> Numero nine. Oh, it stopped for a second. Oh, no, no, come on, keep going. There we go. Thomas the Wizard. Tom the Wizard. If ever, ever a wizard was. <laughs> oh, I'm probably so far behind you. It, yours keeps lagging and stopping and, and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm watching my bitrate just go up and down, up and down. <coughs> Hex tree, all right. When I need, when I get that feeling, I need hexual healing. Number seven. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Invader. Jason Vader, all right. Tell the guys what, though, we're gonna go spin off the subs. Oh, a fish! Surprise, Kythias. We are now into the top five. <gasps> tater! And we're getting a tater. Well, that's good news. Good job, Tater. We go to number four. Ooh. Which is you, Markman. A fourth wouldn't be bad. Hoping to do better than fourth. But we'll see. I do like me some Metal Slug. Unfortunately, Octodad will be better than you. No. This is Casey Kasem saying, keep rocking the night away. Casey Kasem, go back to being dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Stormy with an impressive third place. Yeah, who knew that, that uh, Metal Slug was her jam? She just likes killing people. That she does. That she does. Oh. That was a little too close for comfort there. <laughs> <laughs> Decky F pulls out a number two slot. Here we go. Big winner. 
And now, the number one song requested in 2023 is... Fusha sings the blues away. All right. Yeah. Which is weird because I. <laughs> it's funny because I don't think Fusha is playing this week. So. <laughs> All right. Read them off, my well, man. There you have it, everybody. Just one second. I will reread the top ten after sending that to Mark. There we go. <clears throat> All right, to recap, at number 10 is Steven's Rocket. At number 9 is Tom the Wizard. At number 8 is Hexadecimal Tree, or Hex Tree for short. Number 7 is Jason Vader. Number 6 is Kythias. Number 5 is Tator84. Number 4 is Markman59. Number 3 is Stormfeather. Number 2 is Dekief. And number 1 is Fusha. Congrats to all the winners. Um,. Little last bit of knowledge here. Basically, if, if you're gonna, if you play Metal Slug, um, just focus on dodging before you you do damage. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing as uh, like Binding of Isaac. You need to pay more attention to dodging and then just attack when possible. At least oh. at, at least after the first level. The first level you can. So a strong kinda... defense is an even stronger offense. Yeah. Hilo Fushis. Remember that. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, that's it uh, for us today. I'm going to Ray Quantum for the very last bit of his run. I could have swore he'd be out of time by now. But we, <laughs> we can catch the last few minutes of his. Um, he's the only uh, wheeler that I can see right now. So we will get going over to his. As usual, good luck to everybody. Oh, if you want, okay, I can chill out for you for a minute, Stormy. I'm just Go gonna stay here holding this pose. Get fired up. Go ahead. Uh, Kylo, did you see that uh, Alondite submitted for Pokemon Gold? Yeah, five. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, I've actually they've actually talked about that before. Alondite does Nuzlocke like all the time. Like that is Dear like God. That is his wheelhouse. So. It was pretty surprising to see five gems, just him crushing them. Yeah. It's absolutely wild. What a monster. I think there's <laughs> some skullduggery afoot. Skullduggery? I mean, skull I, I, don't, duggery. I don't care if he takes first. That's fine. <laughs> I think he literally dug up some skulls oh. <laughs> and claimed those victories. I don't know where I was going with that. He... What was he going to do with the skulls? That's the good question. I... Summon gym leaders so he doesn't have to go to them. Oh, that's it. He was fighting the gym leaders. So he's actually... He's fought five skulls, but no gym leaders. Bingo. We got it. We pulled it through, We're guys. We're on to you, Alondite. We're on to your tricks. All, All right. right. It looks like Stormy's live, so... Yep, I was just waiting for Twitch to refresh so I could actually see her. There she is. All right. We're going to send everybody over to Stormy to so get the last uh, hour and a half-ish or so of her Pokemon Gold. Um, again, good luck to everyone, and we'll catch you next week. Sounds Bye. good. All righty, then. All right, man. You have a good one. You the same. All right, bye. Bye.